All right, YouTube and Chinese diesel heater freaks. I'm going to do a follow-up video. It's going to be pretty quick. Um, I did one video on my initial assembly, installation, configuration. So this room is a small 10 by 18 and you may be able to tell from the pictures that this is a dog kennel, nursery, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it was an old workshop. It's got low ceilings. They're super insulated. The walls are very insulated. And this is the back wall to my two-car garage. So this garage and workshop were built at the same time or maybe the garage was done then they attached the workshop after anyway sorry about the kind of poor video but anyway so the room is i got two windows um i did build an ac into the wall for if we have litters of puppies during the summer um you know each side has decent flooring Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I needed to find a better way to heat the room instead of using this electricity-consuming animal. 1,500 watts uh, was crazy, and it would never bring this room up to a good temp. I might get 55 out of this room. So, literally 35 minutes ago, this room was 34 degrees. 35 minutes, we're now approaching 61 degrees. I mean, I'd call that 60 on the money. Anyway, before I reveal my brainchild, um, what I have, this is the output vent here, as you can hear it. And then what I did was I put a recirculating duct in, which you'll see in a minute, which is down here. And you'll be able to hear this thing pulling in air. Just a three inch tube. So anyway, I will now reveal the product of my brain function. Some of you saw my other video and I was working on the heat exchanger for the exhaust. So, I'll go through it real quick. Obviously, this is my intake tube. I just ran it up, and then it's taped to the back side, pulling in the cooler air down at the floor in here. And then, obviously, the discharge is at the top. So, let's talk about the heat exchanger. After watching numerous videos, and numerous attempts. This is my rendition of claiming as much heat out of the exhaust as I could. Very simply, I've got the exhaust tube comes out. It comes down. I've got it wrapped with header wrap to hold some of the heat. It goes through this $43 automotive intercooler and then it goes out through the wall outside. The intake for the heater is through the wall there. So what I did was I built, I built a manifold out of sheet metal and then I attached two, they're a little bigger than computer fans. Uh, I don't know what the CFM are, but I got them on Amazon super cheap along with the 12 volt power supply. Again, in the previous video, you'll see that. So I went with a thermostatic switch, automotive style. It comes on at 180 and goes off at 165. I'm not 110% sure that that's the exact temperature range that I should be using, but it works. So right now, this part of this inner cooler is super hot to the touch. Um, and then obviously, you know, the heat comes in and it starts to build up and work its way down and then out the exhaust. 
I originally had the heat sensor down here, right here. Oh, there go the fans. But it wasn't kicking on because this part never got to 180 degrees. So obviously I moved it closer to the inlet and now it's working beautifully. I don't have any temperature readings, but it doesn't matter. I'm not working for NASA, so it was just a matter of getting the heat out of the exhaust into the room. Even though it's not going to heat this two-car garage, it was just a matter of recovering as much of the heat as possible. So this little 8K diesel heater, with the exception of moving this into this room... I will probably put it on whatever. I'll put it on the wall somewhere, maybe over here or whatever. Um, but at this point, it is absolutely amazing the amount of heat this thing puts out for this room. So we can now have puppies in this room in the dead of winter, which right now it's January. It's the end of January, January 25th, 26th, something like that. Um... The thing has been working great. There are some design tweaks that I want to do, but I think the only task I have left, again, is to move the control panel into that room. Otherwise, she's doing well. Um, the reason that I did the recirculating uh, system was because when this Kevlar wrap gets hot, it emits a little bit of an odd odor that I don't like. And obviously, I don't want to be pulling air out of this room because if there are any minute exhaust leaks, even though carbon monoxide sinks, the fan, the intake fan is right there and I don't want any of this possible seepage to be getting sucked up and then pumped back into this room. So that's my rendition. Like I said, it's 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 probably got maybe five, six, seven hours on it so far. Um, and again, in my other video, you'll see what I did with the tank to get all of the fuel out instead of where they have the um, the outlet port coming out. But you know, as you can see, I can literally grab a hole of this exhaust pipe. This is cool to the touch. And again, you hear the fans running. This is still putting out nice warm air. But the fan runs for about a minute, minute and a half. Cools it off. Shuts off. And then it starts the cycle. There it goes. It just shut off. So anyway, guys, hopefully this will give you some ideas um and part of heating this space if we decide to i mean we park a dirty nasty car in it uh you know it's got a motorcycle and then of course the rest is just junk uh i don't need this room super warm but i needed the nursery warm so this is what i'm using and you know for the gallon of diesel that it burns two or three days worth of nice warm temperatures in there. So anyway, guys, hope that works out. Hope it gives you some ideas. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm not an engineer. Again, this is just my rendition of what I've seen. I know a lot of people have used cast iron radiators and things like that for the heat exchanger but I thought a nice lightweight aluminum uh, intercooler would be the best because that's in essence what it is it's a heat exchanger so all right guys so hope this helps hope you like it give it a thumbs up oh there's my cooling fans came back on I know you can't see the warmth but my hand can certainly feel it <laughs>